right, welcome back. So in the previous video, we learned about liquids and how liquids are incompressible fluids, or more technically, they are nearly incompressible. But just for the sake of this discussion, we're gonna make the assumption that all liquids are pretty much incompressible. So what does that actually mean? Well, if you had a container that had some water in it, right? So all these water molecules, you pour it into the container, and after some while, these water molecules would eventually settle down into a calm or steady state, right? So the reason we call fluids, or I'm sorry, more specifically liquids, incompressible fluids, is because each of these water molecules are closely packed to one another. In other words, there's hardly any space left between each of these molecules. So if you were to come into this container and try to squeeze the water molecules even closer together, you could not do so. And that is because water molecules have bonds that are strong enough to keep the molecules packed very closely with one another or in other words, they are attracted towards one another, but the bonds are weak enough to where, you know, if you placed your hand inside this container and moved your hand around, the water molecules would slide past one another, they would slide past your hand and move around. But as soon as you removed your hand from this container, eventually the water molecules would just settle down into some type of a steady state, as it is here. So in other words, liquids are incompressible fluids and more specifically liquids when they are settled down into a container like this they will eventually form a well-defined surface right they are going to take the shape of their container but then after a while you could clearly define a well-defined surface for water so i think we're pretty comfortable with the idea of incompressible fluids and in the previous video i did pose the question well if there are incompressible fluids there surely must be some type of compressible fluid right so let's try to understand what a compressible fluid is right if the main characteristic of a incompressible fluid or a liquid is that the molecules are packed closely to one another well intuitively we can think of compressible fluids as molecules that have a lot of space between one another and compressible just means that the space between the molecules can be shrunken in other words for a state for a compressible fluid we could actually squeeze the container and the space between each molecule will get smaller and smaller so these types of fluids compressible fluids are often known as gases right and we're familiar with gases right if we pump air into into a basketball, that is a compressible fluid. If we pump helium into a balloon, that is a compressible fluid. Now, these molecules, so let's say we're pumping up a basketball with some air. If we inject the air into an empty basketball, you're gonna have air molecules, often you know nitrogen, oxygen, all that stuff that we breathe in air, they're going to be floating around freely inside of that container or basketball. And they're going to be moving around any which way very randomly. And every once in a while, these molecules will collide with one another or they will collide with the walls of their container. So as you compress the container where gases are living, you're going to decrease the space between each molecule. And consequentially, you'll actually increase the number of collision, right? The smaller the space is between each one of these particles, the more often the molecules will collide with one another and the surface, the inside surface of their container. Now, the main difference between liquids and gases is the gas molecules here will take up space freely inside of the container whereas liquids will eventually settle and that is why this well-defined surface line is so important for understanding liquids but the biggest idea here is that both liquids and gases are simply types of fluids where liquids are incompressible fluids and gases are compressible fluids so we've been talking a lot about liquid molecules and gas molecules and solid molecules and I take I want to take a step further into that discussion into that topic and really try to conclude 
what exactly the study of fluids is. And we'll do that in the next video.